We used the soil all last summer extending squash and cucumbers for months. They normally die off from powdery mildew as the summer heat wears on. Per gallon of water, use 2 tablespoons of the neem oil. Mixed with 2 tablespoons of Dr. Bronner's Sal Suds. Combine the oil and suds first in a jar of warm water before adding to your sprayer. Many bottles stayed liquid in the warm months and over winter, became like sludge. I can't imagine that we would have treated successfully if this product wasn't the real deal. I've tried others and this one has been the best performing. You can also add 4-5 drops of rosemary oil to the mix, making it more pleasant smelling and further enhancing the insect repelling qualities. Works, 1 teaspoon garlic oil, tablespoon neem's oil, drop of dawn dish soap, add 1 quart of lukewarm water mix well, spray to kill mites on contact, and the eggs. This is for heavy infestation. For maintenance use only 1 teaspoon of neem's oil. This is a safe natural product, and the dish soap is to make it stick, and spread evenly, and warm water is to mix the neem's oil it can be really thick, it will smell like garlic, and the neem's oil will work well on its own, but takes more applications the garlic kills on contact real instructions. This stuff is the real deal. I had an infestation of green looper cabbage worms that were quickly destroying foliage. Within two applications over three days this stuff stopped all the eating and sucking insects, including some aphids. I mixed it with Dr. Bronner's pure castile unscented soap for a strictly organic remedy to the infestation. Use every two weeks for preventative maintenance after stopping the infestation. This product has a nutty smell and is soothing to the skin unlike chemicals used to regulate pests. I make shampoo for psoriasis. This is very good I make neem soap too.